Hey family, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to some more mod overviews. Right here we have a, a new building block station. It does the same thing as the regular building blocks, but it looks more modern and it's not as childish looking if you ask me. Over here in the kitchen, because you know I love kitchen appliances, we have a couple of items. So here is a single serve coffee maker that you can just brew one cup of coffee of something or tea. All right, so animations are the same same instead of making a whole bunch of different uh, coffees <laughs> it'll just be like one single serve all right so let's also go over here and check out this new hot cocoa tray and apple cider tray as well so you can make some hot cocoa or make some apple spice cider it looks like you can't make both at the same time because it's like don't be wasteful drink that cup of cozy before making another <laughs> So let's go ahead and drink this one and then we'll drink, we'll make some apple cider. So let's go ahead and make some apple cider. And there is the apple cider, super, super cute. Over here we have a drink machine as well that comes in different color variants. You can buy different types of drinks. You can buy a hot drink, like some gingerbread lattes. You can buy a soda pop, some lemonade, some cola. You can buy milkshakes. Ooh, Oreo, strawberries and cream, cotton candy, what? Super cute and even Skittles. She's going over here to get her little drink. Oh, this animation is just super cute, y'all. Look at this. <gasps> that looks so freaking yummy, y'all. Look, oh my goodness. Different variants for you. Like if you wanted to create like a cafe or whatnot and you want to plop this bad boy in there, you got some different vari color variants to match your theme. We head on upstairs we can see that we have some new toys for our kiddos now don't ask me why baby girl face is like <laughs> bruised up i don't know who the heck beat her up i don't know if we need to call child protective services or what but anyway so we have like some little different um doll houses like miniature doll houses i love the fact that they are super small because i hate the big doll houses that take up so much freaking room it's just really unnecessary there's even like a little spaceship looking one over here and i just thought that one was really cute for like a little boy's room or something also over here we have a toy bin that is fully functional over here we have this little miniature cute little dolly oh my goodness so your children and your toddler sims can actually build communication skills whenever they uh use this little dolly she is talking to the bear and she is building her skills at the same time over here we have a functional makeup set that is really actually neat so if you click on it it's called instant makeup and it gives you different colors that you can apply to your sims face so if we click on pink magenta eyes and red lips we can do pink eyes and some coral lips you could do some plum eyes with satin red lips how about we do magenta eyes and red lips and if we click on it you can see that her face instantly changed without us having to do anything else so look at there nora's face is now full of makeup and if you don't want your sim to wear any more makeup you can of course remove makeup and their makeup will then go away back downstairs we have some fireplace inserts so now you can insert these fireplaces in your wall and i just think they are super adorable so like this one right here and they are fully functional so this one right here you can pull it and then you just put it in your wall like so so i would imagine that you would build you know a, an additional wall in the back because it does leave this little butt back here also with the objects we have some separated clocks and a separated bulletin board so this is a normal bulletin board that comes with a parenthood but the clock right here is separated where you can actually set a curfew and you can also put notes on this bulletin board and the clock is not actually on it you can't actually set a curfew on the bulletin board but your sims can still put notes on there for your sims so there you have a bunch of different little notes on the board isn't this adorable like you could put this in your kitchen last on my object list is this toddler floor cushion slash high chair it is actually base game compatible so you don't have to have snowy escape to have this but i just thought it was super duper cute 
All right, now on to the mod section. Our first little mod we have is the do homework online mod. So now if you click on any computer, you have the option to do your homework from like from school. And then if we go down here to the homework section under school, you can see that her homework was just started. Also, um, this mod actually works for your university sim. So your university sims can go on their computer and do their university homework on. Also on the computer, we have a override for Blick Block. So if you go to the play game, you can go over here. It says play Blick Block, but actually your Sims will be playing chess and they will gain a logic skill. So you can see on here, it looks like she is playing some chess and her logic skill is increasing. Okay, so you see that this oak toilet is like freaking disgusting. How about we go over here and make our child clean up this freaking toilet? So now your child Sims can now actually clean up in the bathroom. I don't know about y'all, but when I was little, my mama made me clean up the bathroom. So I don't understand why the Sims team doesn't allow children to clean up certain objects such as the bathroom. Y'all, like, come on now. My mama told me to clean out the tub after I got done using it. Why can't the Sims do that? Okay, so do you ever get tired of your Sim playing on their phone? Well, now there is an option where you can click on your Sim and you can disable their phone for good. So here we are, disable phone for good. And if you do that, then your Sim will no longer be able to use their phone. And I'm clicking on it and it says phone is disabled for the Sim, yes. So there is a mod that allows you to ask Sims their gender preference. So if you click on friending and you can go to ask gender preference. So we got a moolet down here that says, Charles has learned that this Sim likes men. Let's have Charles ask his daughter what her gender preference is. Charles didn't think asking about another Sim's gender preference would be a problem. So Charles and Sylvia are looking all lovely dovey right now. They are hugging each other, but you know, with the Sullivan family, baby, we always creating drama in this family. So let's definitely do that. There is a new mod that is called um, um, disputes or arguments. So this mod allows you to have more elaborate arguments and specific arguments with your Sim. Over here, you have a new interaction that says having an argument. And so you can argue. So under couple, let's argue about, hmm, let's argue argue about spending money as soon as he started to argue with her he is now enraged charles think his partner spends too much money on useless stuff you can also go over here and argue with your teenager so let's argue about her homework so let's argue with our daughter and tell her like yo you have not been doing your homework terrible bad marks charles is not proud of his teen's report card i prefer having fun it is so much better than doing my homework so down here you can see how these sims are easily enraged from those simple interactions all right family let's get into some create a sim mods and cc items of things of that nature so first things first let's check out urban sims moles like she has some new moles that are pretty various and they are in different spots and i absolutely love these i like you know different beauty marks or different moles or whatnot you know give your sims that little special little detail i really like the little mole on the nose that's cute and the little mole on the chin that is super cute as well sylvia is also wearing this skin blend now called Gia, I believe it's called. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but <laughs> there's two different variants of this skin blend. Looks like the um, eyes are a little bit more defined in the second one. Your teens also have some new aspirations and actually there's a slew of them. So right here, you can see that there's one that says like university bound, valedictorian, straight A student, high school sweetheart. There's a bunch of different aspirations for your teens. And then our little tots also get some new traits. Here is a communication developmental delay trait, difficult temperament. Head on over to this page to check out all of the traits for these uh, toddlers. For those of you that like the Not So Berry Challenge, there's an aspiration that now allows you to keep up with some of the goals in the Not So Berry Challenge. For more aspirations, we have the nightlife superstar aspiration. Here is a new interaction for the proper trait. So this is for those that own Snowy Escape you get a new animation and your sim can either bow or they can um, give their sim a proper 
her kiss. You can also do this under the romantic interaction. If you're looking for something more subtle for your sims so they can get along and love one another, there is the romantic wishes mod that requires seasons. It gives you seven new interactions and you can see some of the interactions here, um, usually occurring whenever there is a holiday going on. You won't get all of these interactions um, right off the bat. You also get some custom moodlets. Another cool mod out there is called the first impressions mod, whereas your sims get different first impressions. But this mod basically utilizes sentiments in a different format in a different way. And you can kind of see some of these um, first impression sentiments. Your first impression can be weird or clingy or immature, which is pretty cool to give, you know, a little bit more depth to your game. This mod does require the mood pack mod. So that is a separate mod that you additionally have to download i would highly highly encourage you guys to please 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 read the installation and the mod description in their entirety so i had a sylvia to introduce herself to a lily and it looks like she's already gaining some sentiment so let's click on her first impressions independent and capable oh okay so charles introduced himself to vincent and it looks like he also got a sentiment so let's um open up a first impression clingy and charles got the distinct feeling that this sim is a little too clingy for his taste vincent finds charles to be admirable let's have nora to introduce herself to this teen over here so nora introduced herself to the teen and let's see whether or not the, whether or not they like each other right off the bat this sim strikes nora as pretty weird individual what is dislike at first sight a thing because she really doesn't like Nora Nora's overall vibe and I feel like that might come from the fact that Nora actually has a mean trait okay so for this portion what I went ahead and did it was I aged up Matthew to a young adult and I aged up this this young lady to a young adult and I made them uh, boyfriend and girlfriends okay so today is new year's and i just said you know i just got through talking about the romantic wishes mod so if you go under romance there it is the, you have an interaction that says first year together so it looks like they maybe just talking about you know how much they enjoy you know having spending their time together and they even whip out some a drink so that is kind of cute our first year together from couples first anniversary with these few words of love from the deepest part of my heart i wish you and matthew i wish you matthew a happy anniversary my sweetheart oh and since it's new year's why don't we try to propose to our new girlfriend so if you go to the romance tab you have a interaction that says propose but it actually costs money let's go over here and propose to our new girlfriend fifteen hundred dollars did get deducted from the household so that ring cost him fifteen hundred dollars isn't this cute what oh how, how adorable now let's say if matthew did not want to be married anymore there is an autonomous call off wedding mod so your sims can actually you know what I'm saying, actually call off the wedding <laughs> Since we were talking about sentiments earlier, you can also remove sentiments from specific sims. So you can go to your phone and you can click on remove a sentiment and it will give you options to remove a sentiment on a specific sim. There's also a mod that allows your sims to steal money. So it's like steal money for all ages. So even children can now pickpocket from their parents. A lot of you always ask me about my loading screen and where I get it from, where this is where I get it from. They are all so beautiful so like there's a whole a bunch more and it's just different areas around the sims War world all right y'all that is all of the mods that i have for y'all today so if you guys um found anything useful please 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 go ahead and hit the like button please don't forget that the mods are in the um pinned comment below please don't ask me where the mods are i'm telling y'all that it's in the pinned comment the link will be in the pinned comment the link will be in the pin comment say it with me baby okay <laughs> thank you all to my patreon um supporters as well for helping to also grow my channel and thank you for taking out the time to watch this video um, i hope that you all are having a very safe 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 holidays i am praying for prosperity and overall just safety and health 
to everyone and anyone watching this video and again if you want to see more content like this go ahead and hit the subscribe button you won't regret it baby and also go ahead and check out my jefferson let's play i keep saying that y'all y'all need to go on ahead and head over on over there and check out all the juicy drama on my let's play all right y'all until next time <laughs> bye